All right. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Shark Stream. Hello, Infern Thorns. Hello, Ion Agenda. Welcome, welcome. Boy, howdy. Is it ever Thursday? Or Thursday. You know, the joke I make, like, every week that I play this game. The one good joke I have, don't take this from me. Um, but yes, hi, welcome. It's me, it's Gage. It's, I mean, who else is it gonna be, you know, right? Ah, uh, and today, who golly, where did we leave off last time? I believe we were in Muspelheim, hanging out with Thor. How bold of you to assume any of your jokes are original. All of my jokes are original. I have never stolen a joke in my life. Everything that I say is off the off the off the fucking dome. Off the cuff. I would never steal a joke. That would be absurd. Can you are there people who go out there and just steal jokes on the internet? Could you imagine such a world? Oh, uh, but yes. So I'm I'm excited to see things are things are interesting right now. Um, among other things, the the thing that I'm most interested to see right now is so they make a big deal about how like the first God of War and God of War Ragnarok are like long take games, right? Like they're they're structured so that it appears as though the entire game is like film quote unquote filmed in one long take. Now, before, where it was, like, Atreus going, like, back and forth from, like, the forest or from Midgard, meeting up with his dad, like, it made sense. Like, you had Atreus going places and then... But with every intention of eventually going back. Whereas, like, now we're in Asgard, right? We're in Asgard hanging out with the Aesir gods. And, uh, like, w what's gonna... How is this... What is the transition going to be to get back to Kratos? Because we have to go back to Kratos. He's he Kratos is the god of war. He's he is the he's the guy. He's the guy from the video game. You know. So like we got to go back to him eventually. So that's what I'm most interested in. Is us doing all this stuff with like the Aesir gods and Thor right now? What is it going to be like? to get back to Kratos and see what he's doing. Because, like, if they're trying to maintain, like, the single cut, like, I, I gotta wonder how they're gonna do that. Um, before we get into it, there's a few things I wanted to talk about today. Uh, <coughs> some recent developments. Um, most notably, today, the review embargo for the Dead Space remake came, uh, uh, was lifted. Right? It, it's good! The, the Dead Space remake is good. Like, we're talking like 90 on Metacritic. That's phenomenal, quite honestly. Um, and it, it just makes, it just makes Callisto Protocol sting just a little bit more <laughs> knowing that. Cause it's like, I've talked about this before. How it's just like, uh, you have Dead Space 1 through 3, 3 doesn't do nearly as well as EA wants it to. So what do they do? They cancel the series and they shutter uh, Visceral Games. Um, everybody from the company ends up going their separate ways, uh, and Glenn Schofield ends up with Krafton, uh, the, the publishers of PUBG. And they're just like, hey, make a game in the PUBG universe. And he's just like, can I make it a sci-fi horror game? And they're just like, yeah, sure, whatever. So he's just like, yes, I'm making the spiritual successor to Dead Space in the PUBG universe, which I have recently learned is a thing. Did you know that PUBG has lore? I sure fucking didn't. But that's a, that's a conversation for another time when I actually play Callisto Protocol on stream, which is going to happen uh, eventually. Um, I might use it to fill time between finishing the Dead Space remake and whenever RE4 make comes out. Maybe. Um, 
But like, imagine like doing all that, uh, going through everything, being relieved when they finally give you the go ahead to like completely divide it from PUBG. So you're just like, ah, it's its own thing. It's, it's my it's my own original sci-fi horror game. And then like the publisher that shuttered your company and canceled your game series comes out and they're just like yeah we're doing a remake and we're doing it without you and like that doesn't that can't possibly feel good and it doesn't feel good it's it, there's baggage there so you're like whatever let's just move forward with callisto protocol you crunch to an absurd degree in the months before release um and make incredibly tone-deaf tweets about crunch culture uh the game comes out, and reception is lukewarm, because the narrative kind of sucks. <laughs> Nothing really happens in it. And, like, holes in the story that could have been filled by the PUBG lore that you were so excited to cut out um, are glaring. Um, and then, imagine... About a month and a half later, the remake of the game that you pioneered being made without you, your former producer trotting out the corpse of the game you worked on, and hey, that's a pretty good looking corpse, actually. <laughs> like, it's good! It's good! That has to sting so bad. That has to feel awful. You know? Anyways, tune in next week where I'm going to be playing nothing but the Dead Space remake because apparently I have to do two fucking playthroughs to get the secret ending that's only available in New Game Plus. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Uh, dovetailing um, from that, but still within the realm of horror games, um, a game that I didn't really give any sort of attention to um, until very recently, I learned some interesting things about. So, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Be Breach. Uh, first off, fuck Scott Coffin. Like, how the fuck are you going to spend years and years building up your fan base, many of which end up being, like, uh, like, LGBTQ fans? Because, like, us queer folk, fuck man, we love us some horror. I don't know what it is about horror media that just, like, the LGBTs are just all over it. We love that shit. It's great. Um, but, like, you spend years... What did Scott do? I'm getting to that. You spend years building up your fan base, which is a lot of, like, LGBTQ people, and then it comes out that you're out here voting for Republican politicians uh who have like reductive policies in their platforms and are vehemently anti-lgbt and just completely burn away any goodwill that you had with that particular subsection of your fan base that sucks that especially sucks when you're on the verge of releasing probably one of the biggest games in the series, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. So I didn't really pay any attention to it, which sucks, because, like, I was actually kind of looking forward to it. Like, I was really interested in it. And then, like, all that happens, just like, well, I guess I'm never playing Security Breach. But holy shit. <laughs> Me and my wife Natalie watched a video the other day that was uh, made after the most recent big patch to Security Breach um, that was supposed to essentially uh, fix everything wrong with the game. And the person that was playing it, the streamer that was playing it, was doing a glitchless run um... Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I can't I I can't bring myself to support somebody who uh votes for people who want me and my friends dead. That's just me. Anyway. 
Um, but this guy was doing a glitchless run of Security Breach, which in this context essentially meant any time a glitch happened, he would have to restart the game entirely. He gave himself some hard checkpoints for different sections of the game, but if there was, if he saw a glitch, and it really came down to if he saw a glitch, because there were times where, like, in order to, like, make it through the game and, like, finish it, um, he had to actively not look at what was happening. It was actually really funny. Um, like, if any of that happened, he would have to restart either f from the beginning of the section that he was at. It was fucking hilarious, because despite the fact that that game had its big patch that supposedly quote-unquote fixed everything, that game is still riddled with bugs. Like, graphical, sound bugs, it's wild. We're gonna go ahead and get the game started here real quick. Um... So, you, you had that, and, like, watching that, I'm just like, okay, seeing this game just so incredibly broken actually kind of making me want to play it just a little bit. Also, did you see what I said about what would happen when Atreus returned home? Uh, I did. <laughs> and just, woof. I sure hope not. I imagine Kratos is chilled out to the point that that would not be what would end up happening here. But, regardless. Um, so this brings me to the point that I wanted to talk about today. I decided to go look to see, like, okay, what would this cost if I got it secondhand? Because I'm not buying a new copy. I'm not putting money in anyone's pockets. I refuse to do that. Um... <laughs> Knowing the state that game is in, imagine quick time start appearing off trades. Oh god. Knowing the state that that game is in, it is shocking to me that they have the audacity to still be selling $150 special editions of that game. Like It was a cultural powerhouse, sure, and it does still have, like, a fairly dedicated fan base. But at the same time, knowing how broken that game is, and seeing that there are special editions that are being sold for, again, $150 US, is wild to me. That game is, like, that game and all of the shit that is in that special edition Nowhere near worth $150. Additionally, it's not even worth the $40 for, like, the regular version of that game. If I'm being entirely honest. So that's just insane to me. Okay, uh... Here we go. Had to press every single button on the D-pad to figure out what the hell I was doing. It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Turns out it was in the lava. What do you know? Oh, beans. Oh. Ooh, hot. Ooh, hot. <laughs> ah, damn it. Some advice. Sticking your hand in lava. Solid what? advice, Thor. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, Loki, don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. You're still a giant, and I'll revel in killing you too. Good talk. Uh, bugs aren't even the core issue. The game, if it was patched entirely, would still be lackluster and boring as hell. Its game design issues as a whole. Oh no, absolutely. 
One of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. We both behave out there? Waiting for the other shoe to drop here. Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really now? <laughs> Okay. What did you teach the kid? Not to stick your hand in lava? Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ooh. Okay. I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now... It wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm going to help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this. Figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're going to tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. I'll all get him. Okay, cool. Are you always this hard on Thor? Seems like you're mad at him or something. Ooh, getting nosy. Getting personal. No, I get it. But it's nothing like that. It's... Well, to be honest... It's the only language he understands. I'm serious. Go ahead and try being nice to him. See where that gets you. Hmm. Don't know about that. So, about the sword. Is Ingrid the name of the soul inside it? I wonder why I can't hear her. Soul? Who said anything about... Look, son. Some free advice. You don't want to let anyone catch you talking to your sword. All right? It's a bad look. Hmm. I'm feeling some red flags here. He seems very dismissive, and then just like that, oh, uh, there's nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Yep, and he's gone. Okay. Not sure about that. I'm taking this treasure chest, though. But yeah, we watched a bunch of things about, like, just issues. We also watched some videos about, like, how... Just issues with, like, the overall game design. And just, like, yeah, it's... There's a lot wrong with that game. Kinda jealous. Isn't that a Greek instrument? I wonder if Tyr brought that back. Greek instrument? What are you looking at? A Toyus? What you talking about? I don't even fucking... I'm just gonna open this. Runic capacity. Gleaming moon sun that ebbs and flows with runic power. Okay. It's a liar somewhere in the pile. Skull and Hati. Kinda want one of these. Huh. Dragon skull in the library. No big deal. Hmm. Interdimensional beef jerky. Bite it. Chew it on it, Atreus. Be good for you. Make you big and strong. I'm 
Anyways, the the ultimate sort of like finale to this story is that uh, secondhand copies of the Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach is, are not different enough in price from new copies for me to like even bother considering getting a copy right now. But maybe someday. At the very least, there are physical copies of it, so I don't have to settle for, like, getting it, like, digitally. Which, no matter how much I end up spending on it, uh, is going to go directly into the pockets of people hey, I don't want it to. Back. Oh, hey. How was it? Did Father behave himself? Yeah. I mean, better than I would have expected, I guess. Is that the sword from Grandfather's study? Oh, yeah. Her name's Ingrid. <laughs> Hi, Ingrid. Wow. All father must really trust you. Well, glad you survived your first day. Hey, me too. Tomorrow, we talk about Valkyries. Definitely. Wow, Trace, you really seem to be enjoying yourself here. Hope that doesn't come back to bite you in the... Ooh! Ear! Did you think that I would be? Well, I mean, it's a pretty good sword. I'm not angry. I'm concerned. You know that's not what I want for her. You don't want her to have a sword. But it's not about having a sword. It's about what you use it for. I think you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. And I don't want that for her either, okay? You don't have to worry. She's a smart girl. Smarter than her father. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you're right, you're right. Jesus. <laughs> uh, come here. Well, this has been a weird day. You can say that again. Nicely equipped. What needs work? I don't know. Oh. Fucking sick. Regular arrows are fired in burst. I hate that I can't think of jerky without hearing build the damn drying racks in my head. Inside joke for me and my friends. We play Don't Starve Together. I have a friend who's, was, is, I think, is still super into Don't Starve. I don't know. It's been a while since I've talked to them specifically about that. They can't really play a lot of, like, uh, modern games because they get motion sickness real quick. Real easy. That's a fucked up looking mask. It just falls apart in his hands when he blows on it. Okay. Interesting transition. Are they hypersensitive? The only thing I've ever heard of giving someone much of video games is Bayonetta, and yes, you know why. They are, um, like, first-person games are kind of like a gimme for that sort of thing, but like, Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. other ones where you've got, like, full control over the camera Do you know? will also, like, result in them getting motion sick, which is unfortunate. The Lord's. 
make you do so again. I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lads, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. Really? You encouraged his foolishness, his confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. That's true. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Things didn't go so well last time Kratos sought out the fates of the Norns so much. Their myth is so interesting. Who am I to offer him counsel? I only hope Let's eavesdrop. Let's eavesdrop. find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified. Love to drop eaves. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before. More than once. But believe me, there is something beyond that. And what is that? Purpose. Purpose is the path that leads you to yourself. So you would have me accept my fate. Lead your armies into war. Secure your vengeance. If securing our justice is not your purpose, then find another, for your own sake. Are you coming with me? Oh! That was a little jittery, but that's fine. Upgrade for the amulet is available. Hello, Gordon. Welcome. Give me that upgrade. I'll need to pop some stuff into that at some point. Enchantments. Uh, increase the damage to range attacks. Set bonus. Increases Kratos' melee damage against status-afflicted enemies based on his luck. Oh, this is weird. This is weird. I don't know about this. Well, I've already got one of these, so I might as well make one. Uh, ba 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 ba. What am I supposed to do with this again? I'm supposed to bring this to somebody, aren't I? Oh, Sindri's not looking so hot. Does it hurt? Oh, this? Only when I worry. How would a trace get to Asgard? I'm sorry, but you'd have to ask Odin. He's got control of every path. I know how highly you esteem our expertise on such things, so I'm sure that's disappointing. He's just been one step ahead of us. 
I mean, a crazy game day today, Pizza Tower, and this game called Hi-Fi Rush came out, and they're both really good. I actually played a little bit of Hi-Fi Rush. I wanted to talk about that, too. I'll talk about that in a second. Is that Brock in the background? Yeah, he's over there. So, um, I talked about this a bit yesterday uh, with regards to Hi-Fi Rush. It's the newest game from Tango Gameworks, the guys, the, the developer that made um, Evil Within, Evil Within 2, and Ghostwire Tokyo. And it's good. It's really stylish, really cool, really fun to play. I uh, put in a little bit of time with it yesterday, and I found myself just kind of like tapping along to the beat. So I gotta say, it's good stuff. Hang on. Yeah, what's up? I got something for you. All right. Sindri, coming. Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have that. Oh. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Thanks, next. man. Shall we go? The Guardian Shield. My, got my baby back. Ribs. Nope. We're going with this. Madam Neethog? Madam Neethog, where have you Neethog? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. Oh, he's going to be upset, isn't he? Hey, man! About Neethog. Squirrel. Ah, Master Kratos, my apologies. Madam Neethog's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. She a friend of yours? Less a friend than another long-time tenant of the tree. She was here even before I arrived, and that was ages ago. To even think something could keep her away from her babies. Terrible. Just terrible. Babies, you say? Uh. Yeet. I don't know if they had the phrase dick move back in the Prozetta. <laughs> we need a petting or hugging acid shark emote someday. That's true. Love how he, dis how d he, despite Kratos, may try to hide it. It's clear K Kratos fucks with Brock the most. Easily his best friend. Also true. This will be of use. That boy of yours can do some damage, turns out. <laughs> Maybe he'll bust through Odin's wall next. <laughs> Well, he definitely Whatever got over mean. it. We're gonna need some honed metal. Can I get any honed metal? Hold on. The answer is a hard no. All right, let's get out of here. No. no, no. Okay. So I wanted to... Hmm. The crucible. No, I guess I do sell sell that thing. Okay, well, let's do that then. I'm just going in and out of this fucking house, Jesus. Mm. 
All right, sell it. Can this lock be opened without damaging the book? The elves in Freya's camp wish to read it. Oh, a locked book, you say? How mysterious. And an elven lock. Intriguing. If your friends in Vanaheim want it, I'll get it open and pass it along with your regards. <laughs> They're a lovely couple. Thanks, Sandry. I wish I was good at... I wish I was as good at uwu speaking as you. <laughs> Hello, G-Man. Welcome. Uwu is basically a second language to me. <laughs> this is little joke I make. Alright, so, well, I keep wanting to be like, oh, I'll talk about something while we're on our way to, like, the next location. But at the same time, it's like... I know how much they talk in this game, and I don't want to accidentally step on anyone's lines. We are certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No, that is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. I would love it if there's, like, some aspect of, like, Norse mythology that is, like, so... Sled and head to the lake. So, like... Oh my God. Sim oh, oh. Mr. Freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Oh, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter, and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Fair enough. Of course. Um, I would love it if there was like some Greek mythological figure that was so close in like function and form to a mythological figure in like Norse mythology. That, like, we find them in this game, and it's just somebody from Greek mythology. Like, what's that? Threads of fate and weavers and stuff like that? What if it's just one of the fates that didn't entirely die from the second game? Wouldn't that be wild? She is a friend. No. Better they get this from you. Hey buppies. Hey buppers. I will open the gate. <laughs> Heckin' puppos. Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Can I brush the wolves now? Okay. I want to brush the wolves. Let me brush them. This is bullshit. This game sucks. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy. Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? Oops. When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found the hidden mural. The giants. They herself had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet. Who we would fight. All of it. As it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That I have been to hell problem. several times. No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe oh, that's fucking raw. That bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Why would I fear death when I have seen what lies beyond? Now that we are on the lake, Ooh, I will smonk. find the Norns. Watch the wolves closely. 
See how their heads turn the way. Okay. Interesting. Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Bold. The wolves are distracted. Hiya. Oh, and it's got the same counter as it does in the first game. That's great. I love that. Yeah, I am doing pretty good, aren't I? Oh, you mean literally on fire. Suspect that's all These of them. were coal raiders. Infamous. Eating wolves. Atreus and I rescued ours from such an encampment. That was... kind of you. The coal raiders have been a blight on this land. The way they've abused its creatures. Perhaps we should do something about Perhaps. You, brother. If the norms know the future, no doubt they'll expect us to show up a bit late. Okay. They out here killing wolves? How dare they? First off. Second off, I'm I'll ki I'm kill. I'm gonna kill him. I'm I'm gonna get him. Track that shit. Let's go. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Secret. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. He's so loyal. Why? Clever. Oh. Okay, Very calm down, Mimir. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. Ah. The Norns live in a well. No. The well of Earth, their home, is hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Okay. Like being inside your own mind. <laughs> Fucked up. Hate that. But if we go in together, are we in each other's minds? Not so sure I like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of any of this. Wait, it's... A raider encampment. Yeah, I noticed. Shall we take care of them, brother? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's what. That's why I got off the sled, y'all. Keep up. Oh, sup, fuckers? Oh, 
Oh! That was a little janky, but it's fine. Alright. Die then. Ah, motherfucker. Think you're so fucking cool. Ow. That is all of them. Okay. I like the idea of what we're doing here, seeking out the fates, because it's just it's just another thing that kind of like parallels like Kratos's journey in like the Greek era of games. And you know me, I love callbacks. I love when they're just like, "Hey, remember this?" I'm just like, "Fuck, I really do remember that though." I remember that so good girl. Hop up here. What we got? As guardian ingot. Bapos. They still whine. Poor things. They can smell more danger. Uh, the wolves fear that we can no longer hurt them. The horrors of our past can be inextricable from the present. You have to understand that. Of all people, Kratos, you have to understand that. Okay, hold on. I'm wondering if maybe actually going up this way might be how we get to wherever this next spot is. Oh boy, here we go. Not personally. He is right. They have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Oh, was that it? I thought that was going to be longer. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate, which only made me more determined to try. Okay, we good? Cool. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? Oh, hey. The legends I had about the ghost of Sparta. This is what I wanted to hear about. Exaggerated. Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. No, that happened. It's strange credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. <laughs> these Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Aye, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. All right. I love that. Just like, surely you didn't actually go back in time to to defeat Zeus in a fight that you canonically lost, right? It's just like, no, no, I did that. You won't be happy to see 
Yes. VC Hagglecorn. Yo, this haggle corn. Ow, fuck. Bonk. Bonk. Ah, shit. The way that I sank into the snow there was a little goofy, but that's fine. Come on, Kratos, punch him harder. Fucking splattered. Amazing. Love that. Love that for me. Oh, there was a whole there's a big rock I could have used. Damn. Jotunheim's honor. Enchantment from the giants. Jotunheim think we still under the amulet of Victor so. I always do that. I always like face off against some big enemy and just like I am I have the most intense tunnel vision. And it's just like, hey, there was, like, all of this, like, real estate that you had to fight this guy. And there were items that you could have used to defeat him faster. And it's just like, I didn't fucking notice any of that. <laughs> Whoops. Damn, if I can't stop thinking about the smell of tear stew. I wake up a fair few culinary cravings. Then black pudding, haggis, and neeps. Oh, porridge and honey. What about you, brother? Any pre-fimble winter foods you're aching for? Olives. The hell's an olive? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That's great! I love that. Just the most... Like, this Greek motherfucker out here just like, Yeah, I just really want fucking olives. <laughs> just... We should do something about this. It's like, the fuck is an olive? <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Breastplate of Guiding Light. Uh, up. Luck go up. Strength and defense stay the same. Ooh, that's nice, though. There's an auto equip button. I can just put on, like, the best stuff. Minds, not wars. Tyr understood the greatest fight of them all was the battle for people's hearts and minds. Too bad Tyr has no interest in doing either these days. Uh, I'm not gonna figure so. Grease for Kratos' maximum rage based on his vitality. Okay, that's pretty good. Greetings, fuckers! Woo! Ow. Ow. Quit throwing fire at me. That's rude. Rude AF. Whoa! Nice try. Oh shit. Oh come on. That was some nonsense right there. I had finished her to that fight. And now we got Okay. 
Fuck this guy. One more. Is it weird that his body disappears briefly? Yes. But it's like, whatever, man, you know? Who gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck. Now maybe the wolves will cease their whining. Nope, there's one more. Kratos, come on. I keep forgetting that I have, like, delay attacks. Cyclone of Chaos. It's a light runic attack? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I want that one. I don't really use the Blades of Chaos as much as I should, honestly. Stonewood. Well, which is it? A cursed wolf. I grow tired of your lack of empathy for your own wolves. It's Demos, isn't it, brother? Oh. I should not have told you, Demos. You see yourself in these wolves, in their fear. Let us keep moving. What does Demos have to do? Wait, hold on. No, hold on. Wait, why the hell... Okay, hold on. What the... F oh, wait, 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 wait. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Hold up, what the fuck? Oh, lady, I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Mimir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. <laughs> you can say that again. Fucking owned. So going in the opposite direction of the thing is saying that I'm closer. Is that a frozen lightning bolt? My fight with Thor ended there. That's where you landed. No wonder there's bits of tear statue all over the lake. Oh, great. Ow. You're on fire, Kratos. Yeah, I know. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Fuck this. And there goes all the help I just got. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, so hold on. Where is it saying? Okay, now it's saying that I'm getting further away. So is it this way? Do I need to go past the Draugr hole? God damn it. You're on fire, Fritos! Ow. Okay. Are you okay? No, I'm not. Oh shit, that was a mistake. But Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Cool. Cool. 
I don't know where any sort of like Brock and Sindri forges are from here. So I can't like go back and get a resurrection stone after burning the one that I had, unfortunately. Whoa. Bonk. Bonk. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Get on fire, Kratos. It will pass. Ah, oh, shit. I think it lowered the level of this guy. No, no, it didn't. Oh, shit. Oh, God. No, I'm not. Ow, oh, shit. Freya, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm gonna do this, and then it's gonna turn out I didn't need to go this way to get to wherever this fucking encampment was, anyway. Like, I'm looking at it, I'm getting further away. <laughs> I wanna go over here. Whoop! Saying that, I'm starting to think it won't actually pass. Oh, let's get away from you. Back at you. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, come on! All right. Whatever. Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress, one too angry to die. What? None of those fucking lines made sense in in sequence. Okay, so hold on. So I'm heading in the opposite direction from where it says the mission marker is, and I'm getting closer. Until I get to this point where I start getting further away. Is it may is it like underneath where I'm at? Hold on. <laughs> Let's circle around. Brother, in my travels, I heard of a great battle in your homeland. Oh boy. At a place called the Gates of Fire. The Hard Gates. You are there. Oh, Thermopylae. No. Is that regret in your place? I did regret not dying there for many years. But oh yeah, there it is. I see it now. <laughs> so Kratos was not present for the Battle of Thermopylae. Interesting. That's not something I had ever really, like, considered. We should do something about them and put your wolves at ease. But interesting to find out, honestly. I'm not seeing any dudes here. 
Oh, there they are. I found them. Oh, that was kind of hilarious. Ah, shit. Bonk. Okay. I don't know why it's glitching out and like their bodies are like disappearing briefly. Oh, I'm in trouble actually right now. Stop that. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh god, help. Thank you. Woo! Nope. All right, well, I mean, compared to the last guy... What? Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going over here, because there's a health pickup. Thank you. Woo! Bonk. Ooh. Not a fan of that. Ooh, shit! Let's close this out. At the very least, get some health back. Snaps your funny little neck. Alright. Grab that, grab that, grab Was that. The one who captured the wolf? Olaf Nautsen, the leader of the Coal Raiders who will threaten the wolves of Midgard no longer. Atreus has grown close to Specky and Svana since their rescue, but over time I have come to rely on them as well. They are loyal and well-mannered. For the most part, I hope I have been able to put their troubled minds at ease, and now that this Olaf will never lay hands on them again. Before you freed them? I do not know. Hmm. Regardless, they should draw some comfort from his death. Yeah, sure. That was incorrect. We got a few different chests in here, goodness. Tartarus Rage. Two destructive blade slams that stagger and launch enemies. That's still pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that. Okay, that's two. So where is the last one? I suppose I could have just chucked an explosive in there too, huh? That would have also worked. Oh well, didn't think of it, so it doesn't matter. And it's over there. Okay, I see it. I see it, I see it. Can I hit it from here? Hmm. 
Okay, let's try this. I am so fucking smart. Fuck. Hiya! Still so fucking smart. Apple. One of four to increase health. Okay. That's a lot of apple. I think I might be closer to a blood meat, honestly. Uh, alright. Let's get out of here, and, uh... We got another... Side quest, I'm pretty sure. We also got one of these, I guess? Token of Elemental Evasion. Dodge rolling will push from your expiration and burn. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. I might want to use that. I completely forgot what I opened this fucking thing for. <laughs> <laughs> He's the executive tier statue. Buppos. They're still scared. Not of the raiders. <laughs> Do not. Do not be afraid. You are safe. Good. Good boys. Girls. This whole side quest just so that I could Girls. pet the pet the dogs. Worth it. The wreckage of Tyr's statue, huh? Oh. Seems there's a piece nearby. Oh, here's one. Isn't that the spear from Tyr's Besties. Statue? Wish for peace. Be ready for war. Oh, that's a student of the elves. Tyr never sought war, but he knew he had to be ready for it. Aye. Best be armed than not. Impressive looking weapon, isn't it? It is big. That's a big fucking spur. That's a that's like a saying. Well, not quite a saying. It's the something something parabellum. Right? Something similar to it, at least. The oarsmen. A monument to conquerors. Made some lovely warships, though. Oh, didn't Atreus come through here? I'm pretty sure I remember Atreus coming through here. Like, when I think the first time that we actually played as him. If I remember right, at least. I like to think I remember correctly. Uh oh! Hey there! Oh, you don't like me. Oh, you don't like me. You don't like me one bit. Realistically, I don't actually want to do this. Oh, 
you're not giving me a whole lot of choice. Ooh. That could have gone a little bit better. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, for goodness sake. Bonk. Okay. Good talk. Uh, Frost Grothinger. Oh, hey, here we go. I found it. I found it. Look, there's some debris over there. Fuck, I'm it sure is some Debris. Waste God of Guiding Light! That's pretty good. What does this one say? Iron Peace, not a golden war. Tyr used to talk about how heavy the cost of war was compared to its bounties. He felt like it was his responsibility to avoid it. Kind of still <sighs> does, in fact. All right. Let's go find the last piece of Tyr's statue, and then maybe, just maybe, we can progress the story. Hey, what's over here? This crest belongs to Fjotalun. Fjotalun, you see? Now that's where Sigrun was from. Oh, is this like a whole other thing? Oh. Hey, man. Stop that. Ah! Sigrun's cur- another one. Okay. This isn't really doing me any favors, if I'm being honest. Oh, well, no, he's- Okay. Can't do that. I am in fact dead. I've died a lot on this particular stream, actually. Oh boy. It's fine. It's fine. Listen, it's fine. Who cares? Who cares? I don't even care. I care a little bit. I care immensely. Let's try that again. Woo! Oh shit, here comes the other one. Oh fuck. Oh god! Nope. Okay. We good? We're good now. It's fine. That went significantly better. Sigrun spoke of growing up with these people before she joined the Valkyries. Alright, there's a thing up there. Alright, this is one with bells. Okay. Looks like there's a staircase on the other side. Huh. 
All right, so hold on. Let's see if we can't track down all of the the runes for this particular chest first. Oh, there's there one. Be another way around. There must be. Has to be. Don't understand why there wouldn't be. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. Ah, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. This is not going well for me. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I'm realizing that. Goodness gracious. I am just, like, biting off way more than I can chew in this fucking... In this fucking section of the game. <laughs> oh, golly. All right. Let's try again, I guess. Shouldn't have done that. Nasty head. You all right, brother? Ah, for fuck's sake. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> God damn it. Ah. <sighs> I'm really not good at, like, managing multiple enemies like that in a fight, if I'm being entirely honest. Like, it's probably my fault if I'm, like, realistically speaking. Ah, shit. Oh my god, what? 
Oh, come on. Sci-Fi Rush is real good. Very cool of Xbox. Shadow Drop, a new exclusive. Yeah, it's really good. I'm making, like, progress on this fight, like, bit by bit, and I'm assuming at some point the game's just gonna take pity on me and make this fight slightly easier to deal with in an almost imperceptible way. Because, you know, that's how games work these days, is they're just like, hey, don't worry about it. But at the same time, like, I'm sitting here thinking, like, eh. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. Okay, cool. Ow, shit. Rude ass. Ow, for fuck's sake. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, come on! <laughs> All right, we good? We done? You know what? Seagram told me her kingdom housed a great treasury. I bet the they did. Conquest. Perhaps this outpost holds some of that treasure. Is that all she told you, Mamir? Did she say where? No, just that they kept it hidden. <laughs> okay. Let's continue playing the video game. Goodness gracious. That was too many attempts at that fight, if I'm being entirely honest. Please don't throw any more enemies at me. I'm so tired. Ooh, what are they? Ooh. Hold on. Let me eat this cookie. The other staircase. Mmm. That's a good cookie. Was this on hard or just a weirdly balanced encounter? Weirdly balanced. I'm playing this on normal. It's also entirely possible that I was just really bad at that fight. Is that a key? No. Hmm. Wonder what lock that key belongs to. No lock. It is broken. Not broken. It's just split in half. Perhaps we could find its partner. Oh, an artifact from the River Empire. Never been myself. It's an it aunt. Lovely. No. Oh shit. Civilization from which this artifact originates is said to be both ancient and technologically advanced. They worship half human, half animal gods who, from what I've heard, rule with wisdom humi and humility. 
Come on. Don't eat your fucking. Mmm. So, important thing, as I understand it. Mm. Now, Egyptian gods. Have you seen an artifact like that before? Tears vault. Egyptian gods are often depicted with the bodies of men, of humans, and the head of animals. Those runes over there can shed some light. Jewel of Yggdrasil. Oh, nice. But it should be noted that usually that was just kind of a... As I understand it, that's usually supposed to mean metaphorically that they can appear as either animal. Not that they necessarily appeared as... In the form of a man with an animal what? head, you know? No. She never mentioned. Hmm. An accursed name. Woe well, to the great princess Sigrun. Her heart is broken and her mind may follow. She committed a sin for which there can be no redemption. She loved the wrong man, handsome of face and congenial of smile. He was perfect except for his name, King Helgi. Sigrun's father, King Hogni, would never approve of such a marriage for one simple reason. This was the name of his old enemy. So strong was Hogni's hatred of Helgi that he would never allow that man into his home. Sigrun loved him still, and so she endeavored to convince her father that love should be, could be, stronger than hatred. She was mistaken. Rip. rip a -rooney. Ah, fuck. Damn it. All right, hold on. Oh, do I need to do it, like, in order? Hold on. Bro, come on. Okay, it looks like it needs to, like, actually be in the order of the runes. Wait, does it? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. We get. What the hell? What the fuck? Oh. I don't understand. There we go. Fuck. Just a matter of timing, I guess. What we got? Blood bead. One of four. I was not closer to blood bead than I thought I was. Okay. Good to know. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, I'm going to, real quick... Jotunheim's Essence. So we got two of the Jotun ones, two of the Midgard ones. I think we can craft... Strength go up? No? Oh, this is just the best we got? Alright. What did those runes say? Sigrun. She loved another. A king named Helgi. Seems they were madly in love, but her parents wouldn't let them marry. Oh, come, Mimir. You really didn't think you were her first love, did you? Aye. Suppose I did. I don't see why it matters, but you know, that's just me. When are we going to get a chance to talk about Kratos' first wife, huh? Or his mom? 
Those are like the only two family members that he actually liked that he hasn't had a chance to talk about yet. Alright, we got one more doodad to pick up. Oh, here we go. Look, there's some debris over there. Ah, Debris. I'm guessing from Tyr's poor statue. Gauntlets of Guiding Light. Luck go up. Nice. Okay. Defend the peace. Well, I think that's the last of it. Doubtful we'll find any more interesting bits. I always admired the love Tyr inspired. Where I come from, gods of war are not revered in such a way. Not all gods of war are the same, brother. No, they are not. Not all gods of war. Hashtag. Alright, puppies. Where are we going? Wait, whoa, 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 Is that a forge? Yo! I scouted ahead. The lake's crawling with raiders. Be careful. I'll disinfect my tools. Repair that socket. Souvenir from foreign lands? Uh, yeah, actually. Wouldn't you know it? I need his guardian ingots for this. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'll upgrade that. Guardian shield can be upgraded. May it strike true. And for the Valkyrie Queen? We all got anything. What'll it be? Uh, I think that's gonna be it. Try not to break it. No promises. Oh right. Now I need to chuck something in that bad boy. Yes, this one. Okay, so we just gotta follow that nose. Ziz, there's two of them, so plural. Does anyone have anything else they want to talk about while we're running around? Oh. Hold on, what's that? Oh, it's one of those things. Never mind. I can't really do anything with that right now. Not I c not until I can get to it at least. Oh, so it was up this way. All right. area but we can't go further on the sled what's over here though quiet sled jiggled a little bit the eternal campfire where oh that okay an abandoned camp whoever was here left long ago and yet, this thing's still going. What was this? Mini what widgets knock over. A list of provisions needed to prepare a meal. A recipe? Who left that way out here? Let's take a look at the ingredients. Perhaps the recipe will lead us to them. Okay. Find the recipes ingredients. Maybe another time. <laughs> Looks like initials. Do 
they match the ones in that recipe book you found? I imagine we might find one of those ingredients around here. Oh, hey. Ah, I knew I recognized those initials. The Ballad of Yari and Soma. I'm not familiar. An old tale, but a good one nonetheless. The carving marks their passage through this realm. Uh huh. We could always try and find the others if you're curious. All right. Maybe another time. For now, I would like to progress the story. I can drift in this? That's wild. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard and Fimble Winter. Thank you. <laughs> We will see soon enough. King's Grave. Oh. Oh. I see. Ow. Oop. I'm not getting the timing of that down well. Oh, God. Okay, I need to... We need to take care of... Ow! Jesus. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Mm. You know what? I maybe should have thought about buying a resurrection stone back at Brock and Sindri's. Ooh, golly. Makes me wonder how much of the stream is going to be spent <laughs> with me <laughs> at loading screens because I fucked up. Ow. Bonk. Oh. Do I get to ride you around and beat stuff up with you? Yes, I do. Thank goodness. I'm going to go ahead and just pop this real quick. Thank you. Okay, that went a lot better. The way forward is magically sealed. Something in here is giving it power. Maybe it's this rock with a way marker on it. The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. Why, what is it? All people know how weapons can carry ghosts. Oh. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. All right. Let's keep looking. This way. I'm just picking up side quest after side quest. Goodness I gracious. I trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Mystic Gateway was added to the map. Oh yeah, there it is. Now's no time to wander off, brother. Prayer's found something. Oh, but I wanted to Okay, whatever. Oh, no. Nice. Now can I go ahead and just... 
Thank you. False trail. So. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mystic. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. <laughs> Kratos just like, ape that. <laughs> Obnoxious even. <laughs> Deja vu. There. I was secret when you saw her last. She's still incorporeal ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. Really wish I could have done any of that in the first game because I didn't actually free all the Valkyries <laughs> but it's fine it's fine if they say I did it then by golly I did it I suppose looks like this is the way they're meeting me this is the area In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. Ah, fuck. Alright. I'm gonna need the to fight something in this area. Something. Oh, but I can hear Brock and Sindri oh, nearby. God. Nothing. Nothing. Another dead end. Dope. Oh shit. Ah. Uh, hey, come here real quick. Oh, Rick. Okay. Bam. Will only get more dangerous. Probably. Maybe keep looking. Fight to the wolves then. Hold on, I want to go up here first. There's a chain. What is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? Oh, is this a side thing? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. I'm here for you. All right. Well, before I do anything, let's uh, let's go ahead and just grab one of these, maybe. Till we meet again. Mamir, look, another Fjotalund marking. Aye, this place must have been part of Sigrun's kingdom, a first outpost preceding further expansion. Oh, this might be where I find the other key. Or the rest of the key, I guess? Oh, beans. Oh, fuck. Another sleep and troll, courtesy of the dwarves. I 
think I smell dinner. I don't know what we're having for dinner. But I think I smell something good. What happens if I hit you? Ooh. Nothing. And perhaps I should be thankful. <laughs> that could have been a phenomenally stupid thing for me to do in that exact moment. To see Secret's homeland in such a terrible state. You know who is. If you want to take a tour of the kingdom, you must have So she loved another before me. There are worse things you discover about someone you love. That's true. Yes, there certainly are. You're free, little one. Free. Are these like souls of ravens and stuff? Oh, beans. Okay. All right. She startled me. I believe I I, I reacted accordingly. I thought I just heard, like, bagpipes or something. In the end, I don't believe it was bagpipes, but... For a second, I thought maybe. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh god, there's more of them. Oh god, there's more of them. Oh, come on. Like, look, I'm getting upset in these encounters, but like, honestly, I feel like it's probably just entirely my fault. Like, I'm not managing multiple enemies as well as I probably could be. Like, I don't know enough about, like, how this game's... Ooh. From your homeland, isn't it? A stringed in instrument. A liar, to be precise. Kratos says he knows how to play it, but refuses to do so, which means he's either lying, possible, or determined to deprive me of a good time, also possible. Though, come to think of it, this is probably one of the few surviving artifacts from his homeland. Plucking the liar strings might well take his mind back to that place. That may well be a journey he's not yet ready to go on. Who is writing these entries? Is it Mimir? Is it Atreus? No. No, it's Mimir. Okay. Oh, we're just back here. All right. Whee! Oh, wait. So I can lower this. Or hold on, do I need to lower that more? I might need to lower that more. Oh, okay. There we go. And then I can go back down here. And we have a little shortcut through that I can use to get to that chest over there. Very clever.
Got some stone wood. Which is it? I open the chest and I find stone wood. That doesn't make any sense. Which is it? I'm not doing a good Seinfeld impression. It's been a hot minute since I've seen anything from that show, honestly. Oh, shit. Oh. Anyway. One of these days I need to go back and like watch some of those like old comedy shows. Enemy behind you. Behind me? Where? Oh. You talk about that? I wish it wouldn't. You know, I was thinking about something the other day. Um, I was thinking about uh, cartoons and cartoon seasons. And like how things used to be versus how they are now. You know, you go back and you look at like some of older cartoons. Like I was thinking specifically like Super Mario Brothers Super Show or like, you know, Saturday morning cartoons and stuff like that. Oh, hold on. Tell me more of your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. That it? That all we're going with? Alright. Um, but you look at a lot of these, like, older, like, Saturday morning style cartoon shows, and, like, a lot of them, like, have, like, episode counts up in, like, the 60s, you know? Like, I remember looking up some cartoons and it not being, like, uncommon for me to see, like, oh, it had a 65 episode run. And these aren't, like... What's that? Oh. These aren't, like, incredibly, like, well-received shows or anything. Like, a lot of them are just, you know, pretty middling. And I thought about it in relation to a lot of cartoons we get these days well, that, like, even if they manage to, like, end when they're supposed to, tend to have much shorter runs. Maybe those runes can give us a bit of history about this place. That can't be. It is. Oh, Mimir. The Death of Helgi. Ash to ash, bones to bones, where love cannot live, death takes hold. Here are the words of Prince Dogger. My spear drips righteous and red from the blood of that cad King Helgi. My father in his wisdom denied him the hand of my prin my sister, Princess Sigrun, knowing his true and dark nature. Enraged by this sight, King Helgi gathered his forces and invaded our land, determined to claim his bride. His murderous soldiers dipped their swords into the hearts of all who opposed their unclean union. Mother, father, all my brothers hunted down and slaughtered, all because he was denied my fair sister. The only male of my line left standing, I impaled the villain Helgi on my spear, did my duty, and avenged my family. Yikes! And I was thinking about it, but like, something that seems to- oh, hey, hold on. Give all these anvil. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm gonna use that. Something that I've noticed a lot about, like, cartoons recently is that like as time has gone on cartoons have gotten a lot more serial um in that, like, there's a lot more, like, continuous storylines and things like that versus, like, oh. The other half of the key. Versus, like, some older cartoons where it's just, like, you got an episode and, like, everything you really needed to know about 
the show was contained within that episode. You didn't need to, like, keep up with everything prior to it. I knew those key pieces would fit. Can't wait to see what lock it belongs to. Open the treasury door. Yeah, why not? Let's just, since we're, like, practically done with it already, let's just go ahead and track it. So are we gonna go ahead and talk about like what that that thing means or no? Okay. Oh, maybe we will. Maybe I just haven't gotten that far yet. But like to go back to using like Super Mario Brothers Super Show as an example, like every week it was just like, oh, Mario's the good guy, Bowser's the bad guy. Here's what this week's episode is going to be like, you know? Where- oh. Ow. Oh. Oh, there's bad guys. I'll be fine. Hold on. Ooh. Okay. Goodness gracious. But like I was thinking about this, I think oh. family just because he couldn't have her. Only her brother, Prince Dogger, survived to kill the mad king. Sigrin and her brother had issues over that. Oh. And all the time Sigrin and I spent with each other. She never mentioned anything about this. Can't imagine why. Maybe she liked the way you saw her. Um, but I think I was thinking about this specifically while watching The Owl House. Um, by the way, if you've never seen The Owl House, go fucking watch The Owl House. It's super fucking good. Say one thing for Tyr. He's got taste. But it's just, like, with a lot of Owl House, like, there's a lot of, like, backstory that you need to be caught up on. In order to understand, like, what might be happening in a given episode, you know? I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Like, I would recommend that, like, anybody who likes cartoons to watch that show. It's a good show. The wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. But I would be, I would be remiss in mentioning that just like, oh yeah, you need to catch up on, like, everything that's happened. For sure. It would not be a good idea to just go into that, just like... Freya, you mentioned that Thimblewinter had nope. worn down some of Odin's curses, but you still needed help. Was it Sigrun who helped you recover your warrior spirit? Is that how Odin liked to refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? Oh, I suppose that is where I had it. Would you like to know how that curse really worked? What it did to me? I want to know. What it cost me to finally break it? Yep. I, I'm no longer sure that I do. That's correct. How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye. Very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. Is this where I need to be? Is this where I'm meant to... <coughs> Excuse me. Seems like it. Oh, shit. Ah, okay. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Help. Thank you. Bonk. Is that okay? It's blocking the entrance. It looks exactly like the one from Tears statue. It's another piece of Tears likeness sent flying across the lake. Ended up lodged right into this building, apparently. All this huh. must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. How about that? Okay, let's take a look around here. Oh, I see. Can I climb this? No, I can't. Alright. Well, I know what to do here. Wait. Hold on. Doesn't look like you can brute force it. We shall see. I am very good at brute forcing things. Opened up a space in here. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh. I don't want to think about what that thing was trying to do. Can I reach that from here? Okay, that's one of those. I hadn't even been looking for those, if I'm being entirely honest. I feel like I've said that a lot this stream, if I'm being entirely honest. Honesty is a good virtue to have. I feel. Over there. What? What, over there? Yoink. Ah, all right. I see what we're doing here. Okay, that's two down. And I know I can't get to the door right now, but... Oh, okay. What a weird puzzle. I gotta keep an eye out for that third torch, wherever it could be. Maybe it's inside the building, honestly. It wouldn't surprise me. Could be useful. Could be. Probably isn't. No, I'm kidding. 
was probably extremely useful. Check it out. Dong. Aha. Well done. Now we just need to open the gate. Okay. Wonder if Kratos gets cold being a god. Keep that in place? No. Hmm. So we've got two gears to freeze. But I've only one axe. Oh, I bet. forgot about the runic stuff. Well done. Oh, let's get inside. Woo! Rude. It was not intentional. Oh, sure. Oh, beans. Atreus is good. Oh, am I stuck in here? Hold on, am I actually... Am I stuck in here, actually? Oh, here we go. Together again. Yes. Okay, so that's all of those. Let's do this. Does this look like an abandoned treasury to you? Aye, it does. Secret's family crest. Looks like a vault door to me. Now that we have Apple. both halves to that key, we should see if it matches that law. Yeah, all right. Sounds like a good plan. Hey, nice. Dead on the throne. Huh. Kratos. Oh shit. Ow. Okay. Okay. Oh right, I used my resurrection stone already. <laughs> Whoopsie. Mm. Whoa! Hold on, sir. Don't let him complete his spell. Ooh. Yeah, that seemed pretty obvious from the get go. Oh, let me just. My sword now. That was a clean cut. Here's 
sits Prince Dago. I can't believe he's still here. Oh he's shit. Gone. That the corpse of Seagram's brother. How do you end up like that then? Uh he died. Obvi. Yeah. Why wouldn't you answer me? I'm a bit sad he didn't actually keep the sword. Alright, hold on. Ah, rice. What we got here? Are you certain you want to read this? No, brother. You do it. Mm. It seems Sigrun put a curse on. There never was a love as passionate and sordid as the one that took root between fair Princess Sigrun and the foreign King Helgi. Helgi begged for her hand, but Sigrun's father, King Hogni, refused, and so Helgi raised a terrible army and descended upon her land, murdering all who opposed their union. King, queen, princess, all lay dead. All except for the Sigrun, for Sigrun's brave brother, Prince Dogger. Valiant Dogger took his spear and ran it through the mad King Helgi. When the princess discovered her lover dead by her brother's hand, rage blinded her, and she did inflict a curse on him most foul. But as her vision returned and she saw her entire family dead, she realized her mistake. It was too late. The curse on her brother had taken hold. From the depths of grief, grief came heartbreaking regret. And it overwhelmed her. In penance for her sins, she cast off her riches, title, and throne to, de to dedicate her mind, body, and soul to the mighty Valkyries. A vow she didn't make to tuck her heart away, for her love was too dangerous. Brother for killing the Mad King. No. Truly? She did not know the Mad King had murdered her family. Once she did, it was too late. She had cursed her brother. Sucks. That is why she joined the Valkyries. To atone. You knew all about Sigrun's family, didn't you, Freya? It was not my story to tell. Funny. Learning all this only makes me love her more. She chose... Gulp. Despite my flaws, my regrets, knowing she has some of her own makes me feel closer to her. I am glad to hear it. Anyways, what's up here? Oh, isn't there a thing in the floor that I can break, actually? Now that I'm thinking about it? Yeah, alright. Take a look at that in a moment. Food stuck between my teeth. Ugh. Hell yeah! Treasure. So, these are the Valing schematics, no. eh? Aye. One of the most gifted dwarven smiths around. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. Alright. I think it would be cool if, like, the Sword of Olympus came back in some major way. My guy just left that on the top of the fucking mountain. Didn't even take it with him. I mean, sure, he was, you know, dragging himself along with a giant hole in his fucking torso. But at the same time, like, you could have taken the sword with you. I'm just saying. I assume it was Sigrun, then, who helped you retrieve your Valkyrie wings. Were they hidden in the place, I guess? They were not. But yes, she did. Argued all the while I should let my anger go. But help me just the same. Alright, let's see if we can't make one more bit of story progress before we call it a day. Oop. Doggies. Let me get a resurrection stone first. Since that's apparently becoming a problem for me. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Hope it's to your liking. Yeah. Yeah, it is. What do you need? Uh, Guardian Shield. Need Luminous Alloy for that. Uh, armor. Don't have any more. Oh, hold on. Okay. Up to 50 up. Up by nine, up by five. 
up by nine, up by five. So it really doesn't matter which one I do. Uh, let's do the wrist armor. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Very good. Okay. And let's sell some stuff. Or no. Hilts. Or a Bifrost Chakram that swerves into enemies. Interesting. Here we go. This is what I want. I haven't done any leveling up. It's dawning on me. Do I actually have any leveling up to do? Okay. Freya could use some stuff. Freya can use one thing. <laughs> okay. Your armor, and it'll take care of you. Alright, so this is going to be the third place that we're going to check. Generally speaking, things like this come in threes, so in all likelihood this will probably be where we actually find the norm. Oh. Impossible to say. She's on a mission spanning the realms in search of our lost sisters. Our hope is if she can bring their incorporeal spirits to Vanaheim, we can find a way to restore them to uncorrupted forms. Oh, are you done? Okay, hold on. Mm. Okay. I'm trying to use these, like, chatterbox moments to get some food in. Because I'm hungry, you see. We need to work our way up. This way. Yeah, hold on. Hold on, can I get down there? There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. Uh, I can just reach that from here, actually. Okay, here we go. I don't know where the chest for that is. Maybe it's further up? Oh, do I gotta... Or is it, like, back here? No? All right. Maybe it is further up. Oh, no, it's right here. God, I'm glad I decided to come back down. I would have missed this completely. Mead. 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 Up there. Remember the Beowulf movie? What a weird fucking film. Oh, there's going to be combat. There's a big fucking rock in there. Oh, hey, yep. I didn't tell them to be here. Incoming fire. One second, everybody. Taking that. Whoop. Whee! Oh. I don't know what the noise Whoop. did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. 
So I'm getting the sense that we're on the right path, then. If we're getting this much resistance. See what I tell you. Third time's the charm. Freya. That's how it works. Thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but right on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. <laughs> Mimir, please. Mimir, what are you doing for blood flow right now? Brother, this way seems like a way out, not a way in. I concur. The Norns are further up. Yeah, hold on. Because, like, your next stump is just kind of, like, exposed to just, like, weird, immortal flesh and bone. Ooh. That's neat. Like, it's not like... It's, it's not like you're... It healed over or anything. So, like... I'm just... I'm curious. Because, like, I've looked into this sort of thing before. Like, how the human body, like, heals, like, when a limb is severed and stuff like that. It's actually super interesting. Like, the body just does that. Ooh, beans. No. Don't you fucking dare. One second, everybody. I'm just gotta kill your boss. Breaks your funny little neck. I love that pulling the axe out seemed to be what killed her. The human body is a champ at going, hey, no. <laughs> it's kind of amazing, honestly. Like, it's something that I was curious about, because I was just like, is the way that, like, severed limbs heal just, like, something that needs to be, like, medically induced? And it's just like, no, if you survive, like, a severed limb, like, if you cauterize the wound and everything, the body just knows to, like, reconnect everything. It's an it's incredible. But Mimir's fucking neck stump didn't heal that way, so I'm wondering how his fucking blood flow works. Like, I get it. It's magic. But also, I'm curious. Fuck that thing. This better be the one. I'm gonna be pissed. Open up. Oh, this one goes. Oh, this one goes, though. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Thanks, Mabir. This is what I've been saying. I'm always saying this. Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. I don't like it. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. That guy's gonna get up, isn't he? I feel like that guy's gonna stand up. Nope. Okay, cool. I didn't want him to. <laughs> I've already fought so many dudes. Please just give me, like, some fun platforming and puzzle solving. I'm good on combat for a little bit. Speaking of uh, itch in the mind, ah, oh, god damn it! No, fuck you. Yeah, that's me. I did do that. Yeah. Oh, they know all about me. That's true. 
I like to think I've gotten a little bit better. Ooh. You whiffed every shot, Freya. I appreciate your help, but like, you whiffed it so bad. Sword. What horrible demons will we conjure out of our mind? I can't wait. I hope I get to fight Zeus again. Taking that, thank you. No. This is what we were. No, I will not be deterred. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, this is like from the beginning of the game, right? When like we were chasing Atreus, when Atreus exits stage left as a bear. We exited stage left, pursuing a bear. Oh, shit. Ah, no. I think that's unfair. I mean, that's true. I can't wait to see how they dunk on Mimir. Ooh, beans. That was kind of sick. I think one of the things that I kind of wish is, like, in... So, in the last game, God of War 2018, when we picked up the Chaos Blades, we saw Athena. And I don't know if it's actually Athena, or if it's just, like, a memory of Athena, just, like, in our head. But, like, it would be interesting if, like, Athena's been following us this whole time and, like, they start talking to her. I don't think that's going to happen. I just think it'd be cool if it did. Oh, there it is. Let me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change... You forgot smartest man alive. Oh, for God's sake. I do think Mimir, like... Cutting them off and being just like, haha, joke's on you. I already know how much of a shithead I am. That's really good. You know, between the moments where it's just like, oh. 
between the moments where I'm just like, wow, I'm getting my fucking ass kicked, and like, god, I wish characters would stop telling me to not do what I'm doing, like, the writing's really good. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. <sighs> All right. Ooh. Ooh. What is that? Oh god, oh fuck, oh jeez. Ow. Oh god. Need to take out those springs, brother. Working on it. That's it. Ooh, it is not vulnerable anymore. Shit. Ooh, let's back up. Oh no. Oh god. Get me up, get me up, get me up, get me up. Fuck this thing! That was pretty good. Well, yet another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. Okay. Well, that was neat. This way. MCU voice, that was a thing. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. Chest. I will take that, thank you. There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. <laughs> and breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you? Babbling. Okay, Mimir, chill out. No need to get defensive. Okay, we're good. Oh. Oh shit. Walter, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here. Oh, I like that it's specifically Frigg and Freya. Oh shit. Oh, 
That's a really good little trick to play with the subtitles. But what does that mean for what Kratos is going to see, I wonder? Oh shit. Oh, I get it. She blames herself. Oh, fuck. Brother, over here. Come get me. I want none of this. Oh, hold on. The textures haven't loaded in. I can't move yet. Imagine them thinking I had any desire to be back on this itchy carcass. Yeah, you're going to need to give me a moment. Sorry. One second. I'm quite serious, brother. Come and collect me. Oh, there they go. All right. Don't worry, man. I got you. Secret. Brother, hold off. Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did. I tried to stop him any way I could. Oh, okay. You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree. You saw a favor. You watched his war. I know secret. It's true, all of it. But for love of you, I became a better man, a counselor for you, an ally to all those who were you an ally to pray in his suffering to God. Oh shit, okay. No, you are to the side of the powerful men. Oh god. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. Okay. <laughs> That's how it's going to be, huh? You from the day you met to the day he put you in that tree. You you that is the wrong button for me to be hitting. I know, Seagrin. It's true, all of it. But for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for peace, an ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To Scott? To Groma? Or to Todd? No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Brother, watch out! There's four of them! Even now, you see a violent guy! And you can't help but aid him and call him brother! Oh shit, okay. It is not her. No. Of course. Okay. You did what you must. Brother, the three had torn me in. Mamiya. Oh, okay. Atreus, I am coming. So we're gonna get boring with it. All right. I mean, I guess it makes sense that it would be this specifically if we're just using like recent stuff. But I kind of wish we were dealing with, like, freak stuff. Bonk. Bonk. I am here! He did kill his old family. That is, that did happen. I think 
it's over. Did we pass the test? Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. I don't know, there's so much a test as oh. A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She oh. must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy girl, easy. Fun little frog horse. Good. Or at least that's how they look in Berserk. You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Not really. Wait, you guys didn't see it? I saw all, I saw all y'alls. Get on. That's a good laugh. Rorse. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lofts by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. Yep, that did happen. That might not be her favorite subject. Oh. That was like the opening of God of War 3. Ooh, fancy. Our search for the Norns led us to a mystical horse. Mimir called it a Kelpie. We walked upon the water, transformed, and then dove beneath the surface, carrying us to the Norns' inner sanctum. I expect our departure to be no less unpleasant. May the Norns make this journey worthwhile. We're here. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. We do do that, yeah. We do be like that. Tentatively entering things. They have finally reached their destination. Thank goodness. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek my, my son. son. Oh. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. Oh, I the like them. To your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. <laughs> no, he fails. <laughs> You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. Yeah, probably. But you, but you called him, him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There must, must be a way, way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. Hey, they called him Puck. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When and my son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> oh, she's loving it. Your prophecy said he would die a needless death. And he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? <laughs> you are the sum of your choices, Got nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn. 
the curtains fall. Exunt omni. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that sucked. The fates of these realms. Their names are Urd, Urd, Vertandi, and Skuld. I do not know how I know this. Their meddling inside my mind is already proving difficult to recall, yet an uneasy feeling remains. No matter, I remember learning Heimdall as a threat to my son. That is enough. Well, that was educational. <laughs> that sucked. All right, let's get out of here, I guess. Unless I can go back. Can I go back? No, I can't go back. Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As huh. part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. No, oh, all right. Brother, what they said about the boy? Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Chances are he probably already knows we intend to kill him. Because, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Okay. Let me go ahead and pick this up. I think we're coming up on the end of the stream here. Because we've been going for about three hours. And I kind of want to relax the rest of the evening. we're all perfectly comfortable oh. plotting an assassination. And I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure. We've got no way to reach Heimdall. And no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. That's I true. I doubt that, brother. But it's hardly my point. I am really good at this. It's like the one thing I'm known for. Listen, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's killing gods. Well, uh... Oh. Dope. That way, but what's over here? Oh, this is the way we okay. Yeet. Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe. The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. 
prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur, and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Also, wouldn't the... Because the... Okay, so what the Norns said was that Heimdall intends to kill Atreus. They didn't say that he does kill Atreus. So if we were to try and avoid going after Heimdall for that, then we would end up going after Heimdall for that anyway. Right? That's probably how that works. Fate is a weird thing. Where am I going? Uh, this way. I see a gay way. Listen, brother. Ooh. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. I would also Your like to get out of Midgard mm. if I'm being entirely on I said it again, god damn it. Those Draugr holes, kill Odin's ravens, find the prong fruit, banta melon, and the elven cap. Prong fruit from Svartalheim. I actually do want to get the fuck out of here. Norns have any good news for you? No. Uh, maybe buying something expensive will take your mind off it? Almost certainly. At your service. Ooh, upgraded the Blades of Chaos. Nice. Always enjoy to work on these. I'm gonna you my name's Sentry. I'm sorry, that was mean. Uh, increased timing window on parries. That's pretty good, actually. But I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this. I like the, the idea of being able to, um, cleanse my, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? My goddamn fucking... You know, status ailments. What's this? Pauldron of Wisdom. Strength go down. Strength go down. That's a shame, though, because, like, look at that. I like the pauldrons more than I like the breastplates, if I'm being... If... God damn it, I'm saying it fucking again. God damn, stop. Cut that out, me. Quit it. Well, these are better br uh, belts than what I've got, though. Ooh, I can upgrade this. And then, don't I have... Whatever you need, I'll create. Oh, I can also... Oh. Why are simple resurrection stones all the way down there now? That's weird. I am as always at your service. Do I have another one already? No, I don't. Nothing appeals to you? Okay. Uh, let's... Amulet. Empty. So I've got two Midgard things in here. 
Let's go ahead and start slotting in some Jotun stuff. Maximum Rage based on Vitality. This makes Strength go up. Alright. Oh, right. I should do that too. Let's see what we can do with Freya. Valkyrie Blade. Yeah, alright. That sounds pretty good. While we're working on getting back to Brock and Sindri's house, I want to thank everybody for coming by the stream. I hope you all had a good time. I know I did. If you enjoyed the stream, you could subscribe here on Twitch. We have special emotes for subscribers. You can also follow me on Twitter at Sane underscore Intolerant or on YouTube at YouTube.com slash Sane Intolerant where I post all the streams after they happen. I have started putting stream updates on Tumblr at SaneIntolerant.tumblr.com so you can also follow me there. Upcoming streams. Tomorrow is going to be more Signalis with Audrey and B of Team Catpool. Uh, who also did the art for uh, my VTuber here. You can find them on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube at Team Catpole. That's T-E-A-M-C-A-T-P-L-E. -E. Don't email them. Don't DM them. If you want a commission, use their commission form. It's what it's there for. It It is what it is there for. Um, Saturday is going to be a build stream. I will be building uh, a model kit of RC from the opening of Bumblebee. I'm very excited to... Get, to uh, get into this one. I really like doing these build streams. They're a lot of fun for me. Um, and then someday I'm gonna buckle down and do that uh, uh, Acid Storm Transformers one that Natalie got me for Christmas. Um, next week is going to be all Dead Space all the time. I will be playing nothing but Dead Space all week. That is the plan. Um... And then, oh, what else, what else, what else? Art for the thumbnail was done by uh, Fen, who you can find on Twitter at underscore Knucklebone. That's underscore K-N-U-C-K-L-E-B-O-N-E. -E. Does fantastic work. Highly recommend checking their stuff out. This power wheels. Ooh. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their Having some issues with textures for some reason. To kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? I am humoring you. <laughs> we will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. I want to know what the dwarves will have to say. Yeah, what's up? Hero, fear, what's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Neethok has been slain, and as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. Fucked in up. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? Yeah, we did that. About Neethog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those leaned worms. Good luck to you. Well, I mustn't keep you further from your goings on. I just wanted to do that. Sorry. Okay. Let's go talk to the dwarves real quick and then we'll end the stream. Hey, everybody. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. 
I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you? How have you hit that multiple that? times? Do yes. Have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Oh, yeah. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I love seeing them get along. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Well... Drop near. I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Drop near. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artistes. But to even store Drop near, you need. You were saying. <laughs> so now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. You will not allow me to pick up to him. I love Brock and Sindri being smug. Oh. Uh, this seems like this is probably not what's supposed to happen. Or is it? because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. Yeah, all right. Let me see if anyone's streaming right now. Hold on. The lady. No idea what he's on about, brother. like who I became on our last adventure. I can't be around the violence that follows him. That follows you both. Oh, Cleaver is? Okay, let me... I never remember what Cleaver's username is. Hold on. So let's go ahead and save this. Well, Cleaver posted...
Oh, here we go. Cleaver bacon. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, and I'll see you next time on the shark stream. Same shark time, same shark channel. Take care, everybody. Oh, we're going to raid Cleaver, so stick around for that.